Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this group we're going to be going over a viral math problem which involves simplifying the expression 8 divided by 2 times the quantity 2 plus 2. In order to do this problem we're going to be making use of the order of operations. Alright, so let's get started with the problem. Um, in order for us to do this problem let's go ahead and write down what the order of operations is. Is, okay, so the order of operations are as follows. It's please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, PEMDAS. All right, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So P basically means parentheses. You do parentheses first, and then E is for exponents, M is for multiply. D is for divide, A is for add, and S is for subtract. Okay? So it seems straightforward and simple enough to follow. Correct? So we're going to use the order of operations going from P to S to um, simplify this expression. Okay? So we have 8 divided by 2 times the quantity 2 plus 2. All right, so what are we going to do first here, following our order of operations? We notice we have a parenthesis. All right, so what that basically tells us is that we are going to do the operation in the parenthesis first. All right, so parenthesis, let's do that. This becomes 8 divided by 2. Now, what is 2 plus 2? 2 plus 2 is 4. All right, so we have the parenthesis step done. Now what we're going to do next is take a look at this expression. We have 8 divided by 2 times 4. So if you look at the order of operations, what do you think we should do next? Well, this is why many people get this problem wrong. If you look at PEMDAS written in this configuration, you have multiplication first. Okay, so the wrong way of doing this is as follows. Most students would say, oh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do this. Let's do this on the side. 8 divided by 2 times 2 and uh, 2 times 4, which gives you 8. And then 8 divided by 8 is 1. And that's your answer. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this answer is incorrect. Now, what's the problem? We follow the order of operations, right? Multiply before you divide. Isn't that the correct um, sequence of operations? Well, that is not the correct sequence of operations. This is not the correct way of writing the order of operations. Okay? The correct way of writing the order of operations is as follows. You're supposed to write it like this. Parentheses first, exponents second, multiply and divide from left to right. What does that mean? These two are done at the same time, but whichever one shows up first from left to right is the operation that you carry out first. Addition and subtraction, the same thing from left to right. You do addition and subtraction at the same time, they are the same level, but whichever one shows up first, that is the one that you do first. Okay? So, in this particular problem, we have divide and multiply. Looking at the correct way of writing PEMDAS, we notice that we are in this MD step, this MD area, multiply and divide. So MD basically tells us that these two are to be done at the same time, but whichever one shows up first from left to right is the one that we'll do first. So if you look at the division and multiplication, which one shows up first? from left to right. It's the division operation that shows up first. So we're going to have to actually divide first before we multiply. Okay? So let's go ahead and do that. If we divide 8, divide 8 by 2, that gives us 4. And then 4 times 4 will give us 16. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the correct answer. Okay? So the bottom line is when you're writing down Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, your order of operations. Do not write it like this. Okay? Don't write it like PEMDAS. That's that's in um, incorrect. You have to remember to group multiplication and division and addition and subtraction and indicate that you carry out these two 
at the same time from left to right okay so question to you were you able to get this problem correct at the first step yes or no let us know in the comment section below and if you have any questions or comments about this um, viral math problem just put your comments or questions in the comment section below thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation i really appreciate it we upload videos to our youtube page on a daily basis so if you want to get updated concerning our uploads um, do subscribe to our channel so you get notification of those updates don't forget to visit our website at mathgotserve.com. We have a wide variety of math resources and tools to help you do well in whatever math class you're taking, starting from pre-algebra all the way to calculus. So don't forget to check it out. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.